<laughs> you are such a flirt, Mama. Please, never say that again. Ah, there it is. Oh, no! Turn back! Turn back! Skip! Oh, Mama! Uh, haven't you heard? It's your time to be an invent again. We, we, you were looking forward to the beach day so much. Uh, how dare they get away from fun? I, I won't. I won't let them get away with this! I fix this. Jesus Christ. Faces quietly grabs a box that you dug out of the sand that day. What's he gonna do? He's gonna cause everyone problems and cause the event to unfold. What's going on? Is this another world? Isekai des? I want some me and Talos time. <laughs> you are such a flirt, Mama. Please, never say that again. Never say that. Shall I sh show you how much growth I've achieved this year? I hate every second of this right now. No! D damn Talos! What does he always have to have the ideal answer? As he fiercely masturbates while he gets cucked by his own mom. I hate this so much. <laughs> you do realize Faces' entire thing is being two characters and him being jealous of the other person as he allows that other person to interact with the person he loves, his mom. So, hmm, don't know about that. And before long, a figure appears. And they go! <laughs> I said it before you could. Where is that cheerful music coming from? It sounds like it's surrounding over the Tigre! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Affirmative. It seems Umbri Tigre's cheerful state of mind is causing this virtual reality to play a particular melody. The crafters seem apparently. This is a communication problem that we have now corrected. <laughs> that's cute. Despite her graceful gestures, her face tells a different story. She's not really smiling. Looks kind of creepy. Those lifeless eyes, I love them. Step on me, mommy, let's go. <laughs> Maybe I should return and bring Behemoth here. Uh, I'll pass. Here, we put all of our suffering and bitter memories to rest forever. Why is that italicized? Please don't italicize something like that. You are more than welcome to engage in activities that give you comfort. You could smile more. You're a little scary. I love that deadpan face of yours. Please kill me. I would even give up my own heart. After all, I really did. <laughs> That's complete opposite of me. I wonder what your meat tastes like. Might if I have a little sample. They proceed to have aggressive oral sex after. Even if it's a constant struggle. You can't let the guy put his own life in danger for nothing. Yes, yes, that's your entire character arc and personality. Hey, I'm having a lot of fun. This is a great help. Uh, I guess he's not my ideal stuff for nothing. Look at him. Fooling both his own weight and mine. Damn it. You're doing great, Tells! Keep protecting me at all costs! <laughs> Jesus Christ. He could not tell me he is not a cuck representative after seeing that. He probably just fell in directly. Please! Help! Ah! Don't go in there! Is the slime going? Well, anyway, please enjoy a graceful dance to calm your aggression. As they do the Fortnite dance while Yamashiko uh, gets his deck sucked out. Oh, not there! Oh, oh, that's too good! I'm being consumed! Is there anything we can do? That man's gonna die! A pleasure! I can't watch! <laughs> or can I? Raised eyebrow camera. Can you be more gentle? Oh, oh, ah, ice cream so good. Mmm, mmm, ice cream so good. Uh oh, we're stuck. Emergency guest logout has failed. Who could have expected this? Oh no, we're stuck in a collision of worlds, some otherworldly place. Who could have expected we'd be stuck here for five episodes in a row? The biggest of plot twists. What a twist! You'll never see it coming. The only people who should be allowed to access this virtual reality are those recorded in Arthur's contact list. If that's the case, there's a stranger here. Unless you have a hobby of exchanging contacts with random people. Well, hmm. Whoa! You two look like twins. Uh, are you this guy's ghost brother? We look nothing alike! T -t 
Chagos is the ideal version of me! I vote for Mama! Uh, is it just me? Or is this guy totally wacko? When you got sad about your lost beach, they I used the memory sealed inside the black box to the greatest virtual ocean. I know, it's a brilliant idea. You should praise me, Mama, for how unstupid this was. You can't put yourself in danger, Mama. Uh, this is all my fault. It certainly is. Please allow me to secure a safe area for them as soon as my connection with my servants is restored. Thanks, Obama. Oh, is this for the... <laughs> <laughs> that flipping transition. <laughs> Suddenly they're Danganronpa characters. I'm pretty sure the unauthorized programs are caused by your trespassing in the first place. Well, if that's the case, you put mom in enough danger as it is, and totally not me. No way am I at fault whatsoever. Hmm, I could probably take them, but more space would be nice. In a fight, right? In a fight. Right. That is a very, very bizarre plot device. Just like, yeah, with the power of dance, the energy will be put into these cubes, and then that will fix the bug, because it's an emotion-based system. Just dance your heart out, and then we can solve everything. Who did the writing for this? <laughs> Wait! I think I know exactly which of our classmates created this space. Is it... It's Zhao, isn't it? It's fucking Zhao. <laughs> this music, you just know. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's just look for our friends. And not say the M word. Oh, finally a chance for me to shine. When it comes... Okay. <laughs> when it comes to mountains, 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 mountains. I'm your man. It's reassuring to have a mountain, mountain, mountain. Expert among us. I love me, a reliable man. Teach us the way of the mountains, mountains, mountains. This underwater mountain, 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 is the epitome of that. Yamasa Chico. You may be a mountain, mountain, mountain expert, but you're no ex ocean expert. If a mountain, 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 mountain expert can become an ocean expert at the drop of a hat, where would that leave your brother? Okay, where's Zhao coming in? <laughs> I've detected rapidly approaching movement from above. Talus jumps offensively in front of you. Oh, never mind. The big boss of Umamichi Academy, Sano Kumara, and definitely not Zhao, is here to shed a light on your path. Ooh, tomato, 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 tomato. We want Sal. If Sal's not appearing in this chapter, I'm gonna put on my clown costume right here now. There he is, my boy Sal. Melon dumplings! Yep, I had a feeling Sal was here. Friendship ended with Mountaineering. <laughs> now Melon dumplings is my best friend. <laughs> Very well. Show me the blossoms of your youth. Phrasing. <laughs> anyway, it's time for me to give you an earful. Oh my god, it's like he keeps on rehashing this point. You know, it was touching when we learned about his story in chapter 10, but this is the exact same story. <laughs> it's like, there's no extra depth to it, so it's a bit sad. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so you got it, Shenron, you got it. You don't like when people sacrifice themselves. It's a waste of life or whatever. Oh, what's he getting depressed about? That was an amazing performance. I guess I can't blame him. The grass is always greener. He clearly has weaknesses in the form of unresolved trauma in his life. I wish I could help him heal. All right, armchair therapist, Shenron. A guy that transparent is bound to be popular. He's just like someone I know. He's just like me, for real, for real. I can cure physical wounds by the dozens, but it seems psychological wounds aren't my specialty. Yes, that was exactly my plot point in Chapter 10 as well. However, everyone has their own strengths. Luckily, I have a, a psychological specialist on my side right now. In fact, you're better at helping me break away from the past than I, I am at sword dancing. You're talking about us? Your psychological specialist is us, some high school student. Shenang... Got help. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. It was. Don't tell me they're, they're gonna wrap up the entire Otohime backstory in the epilogue. Usually things wrap up by the last chapter, and then the epilogue is just, we're all buddies. We're gonna go, you know, say hi to our friends and wish them a good summer and have a sneak peek to the the special quests and then we'll kiss them, but it's up to Wes to decide that in the special quests or some shit like that. <laughs> Once the rubber's used up, his heart will disappear and he'll. Damn it! Why won't he listen to me? As I repeat my backstory from chapter 10 once again, even though I had my own chapter to repeat that. 
my desire to go back to my childhood days must have spun out of control and turned into bugs embedded with childhood fairy tales. In other words, everyone's personal chapter was caused by Hephaestus' own desire. Jesus Christ, Hephaestus. In other words, I'm partially to blame for all this chaos. Not completely, just partially. Forgive me, Mama. Uh, I, I'm a bad, bad boy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm <laughs> getting over the top here with faces. <laughs> it was when an external storage device connected to the Dragon Pass and an unauthorized intrusion via the box occurred. Fucking have faced this piece of shit. Have faced us. Okay, so all the chaos broke because uh, when I connected to the pallets via the black box, I caused all the problems again. Mm, checks out. It's not my fault though. Must go. All right, let's do this roll together. And there's only one thing to do. Engaging unauthorized access countermeasures. Activating defense pro protocols. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> this was obviously gonna happen. Not the power of friendship bullshit making her agree with her, but she's just gonna delete you all. <laughs> Watch and be amazed. My dancing is lauded for its boundless beauty. Ooh, a chaka. Mmm, a sugar. Mmm, you like my dancing. Mmm, I'm so good at dancing. Uh, you think a face this is showing uh, the most prick with Summer Vant? Nah, we've had much more explicit by this point in terms of all just showing up directly in our faces. Even within this banner, Ulri Tigre, who's going spread eagle for us. If I were to describe the most notable bulges in my head, maybe Summer Akiha, Saru Tahiko, there's of course Ab. Very important, me trying to go through my mind palace looking through all the bulges. <laughs> it sounds like things didn't go your way in the past. I definitely have experience in that department, as I may have recounted once or twice in this story, as well as in chapter 10, once or twice. The worst about the faces is that you don't even get to say no. Oh, you saw the characters again say just the whole family thing. <laughs> yes, I know, it's just like, I don't want to participate in this if I don't have to. No, no, you have to be my mama! Mama! Hold on. Does this have anything to do with the message you sent out last night? I fell asleep after club and, after club and tried to click on the link this morning, but it didn't work anymore. <laughs> Taurus mask excluded from the summer fun. As it should be. Oh, it's right. Hey, I've been looking for you too. I hope you're not pushing yourselves too hard. Please, stop bringing up your backstory in every sentence. Please, Shenlong. Just one second, please. You're pretty cotton for the big oaf you are. I don't know if you're naive or just live for your carelessly. Not that I should talk. We got it! We got it! My body is itching to get some action. How about playing a sport? Water sports so would be fine. I'm up for anything as long as it's physical. Come on, amigo, all over me. What do you say? You heard Ombre Digger. He wants to play any kind of sport. Amigo, did you just say that motherfucking joke? <laughs> I will shoot you down, I swear to God. Uh, I have a feeling in a few minutes, once I start the face this special quest, I'll be saying some of the most embarrassing shit in my life I've ever, that has ever come out of my mouth. And it'll be on record forever. Open up, boy, as I tell you about my chapter 10 backstory again. You're alluring your garden purpose, aren't you? <laughs> you little weasel. What am I gonna do with you? Maybe this or that, or pin you down? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that as a teacher. Or would I? Usually I'd reprimand students like you, but maybe I'll try reprimanding you in a different way. I think we've been in here for long enough. We can probably still get lightheaded in the virtual world. Let's gonna move on, Arison. I think I hear the police sirens coming. Is this what I think it is? Massage table. That's right, it's a massage table. Now hear me out, I have an idea. You lie down back there, get in a comfy position, and I fuck you for five hours straight. What better time to give a dear student a physical checkup inside and out? I've seen you pushing yourself to the limit out there. At this rate, I'm afraid it'll affect your bone alignment, so I'll have to align you with my bone. It almost perfectly replicates every nook and cranny of your body. How do I know? I'm not the school doctor for nothing. It's not like I've been taking pictures of you while you aren't paying attention. But don't worry, I'm not here to give you an earful about your reckless behavior. Just remember this. 
As much as I want to protect you <laughs> through thick and thin, I can't always be there when you need me. At last, it's finally time for my chapter 10 monologue. I hope you're waiting for this, because it's very important for that you hear it for the 10 millionth time. <laughs> You say put on repeat. If you mean the backstory for chapter 10, yes. <laughs> He's very happy about telling you about his story of how he doesn't want you to sacrifice yourself. At least don't go off on one of your reckless events. <laughs> Shadong tried to be problematically horny here. Can he lay off the chapter 10? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I'd like to spend whatever time we have here together. <laughs> Jeez. You love my chapter 10, don't you? All chapter 10 inches I have. Alright. If you guys still want to face this, say so now, otherwise I'm closing the stream. God damn it. Still have sleep? You tap the bright screen. Oh boy. Time for the worst five minutes of my entire life. Tell us. Oh no, we have to take both. <laughs> I would be so happy if you could just do Talus instead entirely, but now we have to do both. Fuck. <laughs> but it's even worse if you consider that this takes place before all the other times we hang out with Shenong and Obri Tigre. Because he's essentially giving the blessing. Mom, you, you, you can cuck me if you want. <laughs> it's okay, I'm into this. I'll, I'll be in the closet as they jerk off. <laughs> Therefore, we have only invited you here this time. But next time, we will pass you off to Omri Tigre and then to Shenong. <sighs> this is finally you and me, Mama. I'm just so happy. Stop the breathing. I'd stop having faces of breathing if I could. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only pure one of us all. You look very. Mm. Mm, yeah, you do look like that. Yes, you do. <laughs> Alright, you look sexy, sure. You're too nice to me, Oma. Oh, Mama! Uh, bring me back inside your room right now! Damn it! Look at you, baby! That was perfect escort! At least make sure you don't squash Mama! How do you combine some of the two worst possible kinks out there? Of cuckoldry and like a son mother in relationships <laughs> and then you combine it into a single character and then you have one of them act as if they are like mentally drained and hate themselves <laughs> and then wants to be cucked by a perfect image of themselves that they created themselves and has them oh how do you make a character like this <laughs> your balance being is important i choose beautiful uh, 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 uh. I don't know what options would be worse, if we accept faces of attention, or if we play into his cuckoldry thing. Yeah, it would have been funny if we picked one or the other, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> it's either a face that's acting like, Oh, mama, you're too god, please don't look at my ugly fucking face, I'm so disgusting, don't touch me, mama, I love you! Or it would have been, damn it, tell us, damn it, you be so perfect! It's one of those two, <laughs> and if we picked both, at least we got to dodge it, so thank you, chat, for picking both. <laughs> Come, mama, all over me. <laughs> Please allow me a basis to, to provide you the ideal massage. I hate that came out of my mouth. My bad habits of making dirty jokes every year is not helping me out here. Tatos, you better not put a scratch on Mama's milkers. Treated like the most precious objects in the world. They're the most succulent things I've ever tasted. You better not fucking ruin them. Oh my god, it's like choosing between a uh, fuck your mother kink or a uh, cuckoldry kink. Pick your poison, no matter what you lose. Does, does, does that feel good? Oh, good. Uh, I feel good, too. I finally found something I, c I can do for you. <laughs> hmm. Let me set up the video camera here. When you pat Talos' and on head, he freezes for a second in surprise. After calculating the ideal reaction, he kneels down and wraps you in his arms. Damn it, Talos! Stop hugging Mama so perfectly! Oh, it's time. I thought Talos was the only one who should be by your side. Except I was the one who saved the day in Dragon Palace. I mean, it was my fault to begin with, but not totally at all. But anyways. I'm glad you are learning. Everyone in chat right now, anyone who doubted why I hated to face this and didn't want to deal with him, I'm glad you're all here to suffer with me and can experience firsthand why I'm dying. <laughs> I pretend I did not see. Mama, 
one last request. Can you please remind me of the feeling of being inside your pussy? We, we finally killed Hephaestus by absorbing him back into our pussy. <laughs> yeah, that was Virtual Summer's Memories. Dancing Dragon Palace. Yamasa Chico and Otohimi's story were nice at least.